Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Brittany. So in October of 2022, I showed you guys Outre Marissa in this nice blonde color. I was in love with it. It was one of my favorite wigs of 2022. I loved it so much that I got it in the color number two and that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. But I'm gonna start off with some prep. So I went ahead and blow dried my natural hair out and I braided it down because this is a straight wig and of course I want a flat install so I had to make sure I brushed out my hair and then braided it down. Um, if you aren't good at braiding or you know doing cornrows and stuff, you can do flat twists. You can put your hair in a low ponytail. It's a lot of different ways you can prep your hair underneath. Yeah, so I went ahead and did that. I used my Revlon blow dryer brush to blow out my hair a little bit more to make it a bit more manageable. And um, you guys will see that here. I've been using this for years. It's very clutch for blowouts and everything like that. Highly recommend it. Yeah, so I just pinned up my hair in the back with my bobby pins. And I'm gonna show you guys the cap construction using my old Marissa video because I didn't get any footage of it this time. Two combs on the, two combs on the right and left side, a comb in the back and adjustable straps. This wig also had a 360 lace, so lace was all around the back, so you can wear it up in an updo. And when I tried it on, I was actually surprised because this fits smaller than I was expecting. Because last year, I'm pretty sure it felt like it was a large cap, but this year it kind of felt like it was like small to medium. Um, after a while, it did loosen up once I cut the lace and everything like that. It does come with a elastic band within the cap. I don't believe it was adjustable though. So I went ahead and cut the lace and I did wear my glasses while I was doing this and I kind of trimmed around the glasses just in case I wanted to wear them. And I didn't take the lace all the way down to where my ear is. I actually cut up higher and left some of my like sideburns out because I feel like that's more of a natural look and it's a lot easier to you know apply your wig that way. Um, when I first put on the wig, the hairline to me was okay. It looked like it needed to be tweezed and I did do that off camera. If you don't know how to tweeze your hairline on your wig, I do have a standalone video from a few years ago. It's still relevant and I still use that same process. I use it on my synthetic wigs as, as well as my human hair wigs. So this is what the lace looks like without any um, tinting or anything like that. I did take out a little bit of my edges because it's just easier that way for me because my edges do grow down pretty low. And I sprayed my even adhesive spray on top of my lace at the center of my forehead. And then I, on the sides of my hairline, I put it underneath the lace. And I'm using this mini travel Conair brush, this mini travel blow dryer from Amazon. Uh, I like this cute little size that it has. Um, it's just very convenient. And then I just press down my lace with my rat tail comb. And now I'm just gonna take my melt band and I'm gonna put that on so the lace gets nice and melted and marinated like that. And then we're gonna move on. I'm gonna take my hot comb here. I got this hot comb from eh, Target. I got this from Target probably a year ago, a year and a half ago when my Andis hot comb went out. It's really good and I put it on the 250 setting um don't go too high of course because this is still synthetic hair regardless of the you know claims of it being you know a nicer fiber or whatever it still has synthetic fibers in it so take it easy with the heat so i went ahead and took off my melt band and this wig is looking so good okay i did my thing with this wig and i took my time so i first started off with my platio foundation stick in the color cinnamon and this was too light my skin has gotten darker with summertime, so I definitely had to test out different, you know, contours and found foundations to match my lace. So I went with Mocha, which is the shade I use for my contour. And, you know, over the years, I've, you know, come to the conclusion to go with your contour instead of your foundation because your forehead is typically darker than, uh, you know, the center of your face. So that foundation the mocha worked very well on my lace and blends in beautifully i'm recording this in natural light in front of a window i don't have any of my studio lights on and that mocha worked very well so you have to play around with the color of you know the color or whatever that you use to tint your lace and that um, contour foundation you know worked very well for me now for my parting space i went with 
my concealer shade because the hairline you're gonna go with whatever's your contour is but your parting space your scalp is usually lighter so i went with my concealer and then i just slimmed up the parting space with my l'oreal um concealer brush this is like a black color just to slim it up you don't want your part too wide looking crazy so i went ahead and just um let my hair down and then i took my brush and ran it through it so this hair texture just like with my original video you know if you haven't watched it you should watch that one because that blonde color is just the best blonde i've ever tried but this has a beautiful light yakky texture um this is how i wanted outre's lynette to be i feel like this is just like a perfect light yakky straight wig it's just so beautiful so so beautiful this is one of my favorite um like kinky straight yakky textured wigs this one and outre katia but this one is probably more wearable for more people than katia is because she is about i'm gonna say i think she's like 18 inches i'm six feet tall so of course if you're shorter than me it's gonna appear to be longer on you but i feel like it's like more on the like a medium length than you know katya is and marissa those are my two favorites so this is the sunlight test i think she looks pretty good outside i actually was getting ready on this day and i went to a cookout and wearing you know these lace wigs around a lot of people is a big deal and i felt like my lace and everything looked good because i took my time and everything so i feel like it passed the sunlight test um but it's still a wig y'all like <laughs> you still gonna see a little bit of lace but she looks good as far as wigs can get like even if this was human hair human hair synthetic i i slate this i feel like i did it's a beautiful wig it looks good in that blonde color but of course in this natural black it looks even more natural highly recommend this wig i give marissa a 10. now is she gonna tangle yes but i'm still not taking no points off because she's that amazing huge fan of this wig you will get you will get some shedding and tangling but i still love this wig so i'm giving it a 10 just like I'm pretty sure I gave the blonde one a 10 as well. It's perfection. Just know it's still synthetic and you're still gonna get some tangling. So use your pure silicone spray and a paddle brush to keep up with it. I have a lot of um, you know, beauty supplies and uh, hair supplies in my description box that you can purchase on my Amazon storefront. Shout out to everybody who tuned in. Shout out to everybody who continues to support my channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing before you leave. I'd love to have you over here. I do a lot of content on my channel, a lot of hair content, makeup sometimes, some fashion, and home decor as well. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.